Hey everybody, as you may already know by this point, that I'm making weekly vlogs every single week, leading up to the week of Halloween in October, um, leading up to go see my best friend, Bella sibling, Max, also known as Rooster Cosplay, here on YouTube, and I'm so excited that I'm making vlogs to my journey all the way there. Um, this is vlog number 5 out of 11. And it's going to be pretty crazy. For this week's episode, for episode number five, just one more hand left and we're going to be, we're going to be on our way and it's going to be amazing. Um, but, uh, here we go. Um, so today's vlog is going to be about, you know, before, you know, back in the day, before we had iPhones and iPads and streaming and all <coughs> and all this other stuff uh, before video games got really technical and really you know all that stuff these days we had all this to entertain us we had all this old school stuff to entertain us um so I'm gonna be showing off a lot of things today so I don't know really where to start, but okay, so we'll just start with um, old school PC gaming. Now, back in the day, I had um, Windows 95, which is one of my favorite Windows processors ever made. One of my favorites. Um, and I don't care if it's like Windows 90, 95, <coughs> excuse me. I don't care if it's Windows 95, 98, Millennium Edition. I don't care. They're all super great to me because it's nostalgic for me. I didn't, even though a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia to Windows XP, including myself, because I used to use it all the time as well. Um, still, it's just, it's different, you know. I, Windows XP wasn't for me. Those older ones, like 95, 98, Millennium Edition, those were all the ones I grew up on and the ones I liked the most. So, um, these are some of the games I had back then. Uh, and by the way, it was a the, the shell and the computer itself was a Packard Bell, which you don't see anymore these days. Uh, supposedly they're still a company, but they're not making computer stuff anymore. They make like like crappy gaming headsets, which I do have. Like I have one of their crappy gaming headsets, and it's really crap. I used it in the few in the, <coughs> and people on the other side of the mic said it still sounded like crap. So Packard Bell's not doing very good as a company these days. But back then they were they were like. Overlords in the computer, in the commuter, ugh, commuter, computer game. They were overlords in that field. But, um, these are some of the games I had grown up. So, let's start my first one, the first one, and my favorite one Tonka, Tonka Construction 2. This game was the crap when I was growing up, and it still kind of is to this day, even though it was made for little kids and all that stuff, but still. What's really cool about this game is that is that you basically have the choice to the to go into a city, into a into a snowy mountainy rangy sort of area, a a mine like a mine, uh, like you no know, a mine, and a uh, in like the the wild west, I believe. I think those are all your choices, and pretty much like. In every single location, pretty much, except the mine. Um, you can build your own stuff. Like, you can build your own buildings and put whatever you want on it that they have in the game. That make it whatever you want it to be. Like, different, wall, different like, like, different, um, because pretty much what you're doing <laughs> is that you're putting, it's a, uh, in the, this is mainly in the city part, because the city part is mainly where you're going to be half the time when you're playing this game, because when you're in the, the snowy mountain range, there's already preset buildings that they already have that you just take, that you just take off the truck that pulls in, that pulls into wherever you're going to, uh, place the building, and you just plop it on just wherever you want to put it, and that's it, that's all, that's all that happens there, you don't get to build anything, you just put preset buildings on the snow, and there you go. And you can build like little icy lakes and whatever. It's 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 fun, but it's not as fun as being in the city part. <laughs> but um, but like in the city part, right? You can you you get the um. Put oh no wait, never mind. 
Yeah, there's the city, the mountain, the desert, and the quarry. And the desert, the desert and the, the desert and the mountain part. Sorry, I didn't, I forgot to look at the back, but here's the front. There's the back. But no, um, in the desert and the mountain part, um, you don't get to build your own buildings. You, they already have preset buildings and you just, and you just choose what building you want and, and all that stuff. And you just plop it right there. <laughs> wherever you want to put it and then you just make a city out of that and you can like pave a road and in, in the desert you can like pave a road and and I think you can place signs along this like electronic or whatever signs on next to the road it's it's really weird I don't know but the city the city part it's the part I like because what I'm trying to say is that you choose that's is that there's already going to be buildings already made and if you want to make your own you can either edit that pre-made building or you can just take the bulldozer and just bulldoze the whole building down <laughs> and then, and start <coughs> and start from scratch <laughs> from the very beginning and then have this empty lot and then what you do is is that you get is that you take the digger truck and then you go and then you take the digger truck and you and you dig then you dig your spot of where you want your building to be or how big you want your building to be and then after you do that you got to lay the cement into that <laughs> into that uh plot into that ground and so after you're done digging up all that hole you pour the cement in there and then it gets filled with cement and after you fill it with cement <laughs> then then and then you take the the steel frame blocks that they're literally steel frame blocks and you just place it on the cement parts that you, on the cement parts of the hole that you made and then from there then you get to choose what your what you want your wall to look like so they have all these different wall types from like brick to stone, to castle, like you, like like literally whatever you want it to be, like windows, business building, whatever you want it to be. So you put that on, and then after you put that on, then you're able to put like other random stuff, like signs and light fixtures and all that stuff. Then after you're done with all that, then you can like freaking put like bushes, pools, flag posts. <laughs> whatever like, you can make this be like the most exaggerated building on the block if you really want it to be <laughs> it's, it's this game this game i love it so much man this is this game was my childhood i loved this game and i still can't believe i have it to this day i can't play it anymore because my computer because i um my computer uh can't handle it because it's uh my computer's too new but if i ever get a retro pc again like another windows 95 98 computer from back in the day, this is going back on there, and I'm just gonna go wild. I'm gonna go ham or wild on this game. Uh, there it is. There's the inside. I love that game. <laughs> After that, um, it's another game I used to play growing up. Not as much as Tonka Construction, but not as much as Tonka Construction, but um, I played this a lot too. Nowadays, if you were to play, it'd be way out of date, but um. Backyard Baseball 2003. Um, I remember playing these backyard games growing up because I played, obviously I owned this one, I played this one, but I, there, I also played Backyard Football before, and that was another game that was pretty cool. Because back then, these games were fun when you're a kid. Nowadays, I don't think I would have as much enjoyment of it. I don't think, I don't know. I haven't played this in like years, so. Uh, there's the front. There's the back. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's, it's something, um, it's just, you know, pretty much you're playing baseball, except all the, all the pros are little kids, that's all they're doing, that's what, that's all that they're doing with this, is that, um, they want you to pretend you're, you're playing the real thing, but except with little kids and stuff, but, uh. There's a, there's the inside. Yeah, I played, I played backyard football. I never played backyard basketball. I never played backyard soccer. I don't know. This game was fun at the time when I was a kid. 
I don't know how it would be if I played it today. I don't know. But there it is. Backyard Baseball 2003. Pretty cool. Also runs on Windows 95, I think. You know, Windows 98 Millennium Edition XP. Yeah, so I need those. You always, you always got to remember, no matter what the game is, you're these two, you got to look at the back. Um, the back. And uh, make sure you have the right requirement, system requirements. Windows 95 and 98, so. I don't know if it, so I guess it wouldn't work on Windows Millennium Edition if I had it, but. I don't know. Um, I lost the game disc for this game, but I never played it because I was not a big fan of it. But, SimCity 2000. If anyone knows what the Sims are, it's the Sims. Sim City, you know. There's the front. There's the back. I don't know what happened to the disc for this one. It's not in here, and I can't find it. So I don't know where the heck it is. I don't even know why I so have this anymore because I lost the disc. But um, uh, but there's the case. For the, uh, there's the case for it. Um, anyway. And then the last PC game that I still have that I hard, that I played, but I hardly played it because I want, I actually want to go to the real one, to the real place. Because that would be amazing. I'm not very good at these games either, but Mall of America Tycoon. If anyone knows anything about the Tycoon games, you're, you're pretty much running a business. You're pretty much running the business itself. And, um, obviously, if you're familiar with, uh, you know, these kind of games, um, you're building, like, basically, uh, Mall of America is, like, in your grubby little hands. And you can, uh, <clears throat> and you can build your own stores in it, and your own little kiosk, and all that stuff to make Mall of America your own. But it's, <clears throat> it's just, I don't know, I'm not very good at it. I always suck at it. I really do. That's why, I, that's why I don't play, like, Mall Tycoon, or any of the Tycoon games, because... You're basically, uh, you're basically running a business. That's basically what you're doing. You're running a business, and it's just fancied up a Mall of America in this one. So, you're basically running a business, <laughs> but I'm not good at it. <laughs> so, so that's so. I mean, it's nice. To, it's fun to have this. And it's nice to have this because I really want to go to the real Mall of America. But <laughs> trying to run the whole thing, I don't think so. <laughs> that's a. Uh, that's my whole. Uh, here's the sides. Oh well, yeah, here's the back. Sorry if I didn't show it. But um That's that's all my PC games from when I was child. When I was when I was child. Yeah there. Um Next up, we're gonna move on to looking at my old Game Boy stuff. Stuff that I still own from my childhood via the Game Boy. Game Boy Color slash Game Boy Advance. Um so So get this right. Um, back then, before we had Netflix and all that, all that stuff, um, every kid needed a way to watch their to watch their favorite TV show, right? Like they didn't care how they got it; they just wanted it, and they didn't care how they watched it because quality didn't matter back then. Obviously, I don't know if you guys are gonna remember this: the Game Boy Advance video. Yeah. Here it is, people. It's, uh, I think it's only two episodes, because I think these cartridges can hold only two episodes, I think, but, um, the, I'm pretty sure if I were to sell this, I would get lots of money for it. Because I, I guess, honestly, I don't really even need it anymore. I had the, the whole, um, whole Sonic X series is now on Blu-ray, complete, the whole series. So, technically, I don't even need this anymore. 
but it's from my past, so I'm deciding to keep it. But, um... But, uh, the quality sucks on these little cartridges. We just didn't care how we got the show. We just wanted to watch it and have it. And this is and this is their answer. <laughs> it's a little Game Boy Advance cartridge with Sonic X on it and crappy quality and crappy sound quality. <laughs> yeah, so... I never watch it. I never use it anymore because I don't need to anymore these days. But I keep it because, yeah... Sonic X. Um, and then the actual only two games I have left, which I don't know what happened to my other ones. Which I, I swear I had more Game Boy Advance games than this, but I don't know where they went or if I even have them anymore. But you always, I'm just going to show them both because they're the only two actual Game Boy Advance games I have, but. Um, Battleship Risk and Clue, and Super Sprint, and Spy Hunter for the uh, Game Boy Advance. Um, honestly, their um, their game, their their collect their collections, pretty much on cartridge. But it is what it is. It did it did its thing for for the time. This is a I actually get. Fun fact, I actually got this game at Kmart if our Kmart went out of business. So not not when they were going at during their going out of business thing. This is like before like that all started. I got this at Kmart, which is pretty cool to know. Um then Game Boy Color Blies. Donkey Kong for the Game Boy Color and Rampage World Tour for the Game Boy Color. This is the crappiest port of this game. Never play it on here. Get the console version if you can. <laughs> I don't even know why I even have it. Because it sucks. This version of the game sucks and I played it and I know. And this game's good. I like this game. This game's fun. Just, if you have this, I'm sorry. I don't even know why I even still have it. But. Um. That's that's everything Game Boy wise, that Game Boy game wise I have. And then speaking of the actual Game Boy itself, I um this is my Game Boy Advanced SP case right here. With the uh charger inside with my actual Game Boy inside. If, um it's still worse than everything. There it is. I hardly use this thing anymore. Because I, I need to collect more Game Boy games, like more Game Boy games I actually want to play. But oh, oops, just gave me more in here. What is this? Oh, Nixon's Racing. I forgot I got this. <laughs> oops, I forgot I got this game. Um, I should probably play that again at some point to see how it is. I forgot I got it. I mean, I forgot where he even got it. I got it from some, some flea market somewhere. I don't know. But there it is. Um, That's my Game Boy Advance SP. That actually does work still. I should probably turn it on so you know. So, you, so I can prove it. But. Yeah. See, it works. I love this thing. It's awesome. It, I, like, you know, you can't go wrong with a Game Boy, especially when that folds. Um, because I used to have a Game Boy Color back in the day, like a National Game Boy Color, but it broke or we sold it or whatever. But, that's that. Um, then, you know, after that, after the Game Boy went out, went out of style, they made the Nintendo DS. Which, um, which, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Technically, this DS is technically my first DS I ever had, but since, you know, the 3DS became a thing, I didn't need, I didn't, 
This became my strict Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero DS. This is my first Nintendo DS I've ever had. And it still works. And everything. Because now it's my, um... <clears throat> now it's my, uh... Guitar Hero DS that I play my Guitar Hero games on. on not on portable on. It's this one. So... It's relatively clean, too. It's, you know, for years out of use. But, um, that's what the inside looks like. And then I put this giant sticker that I got when I got the game. When I got the first on tour game on the day it came out, they gave me this giant sticker to put over my DS. So, I had this giant sticker on front with all these other stickers over it. And then, uh, the actual guitar grip that came with the game, the little thing in the, in the buttons, in the strap, and then the, uh, the little pick. There's a, there's a custom stylus in here for a reason for when I used to use this as my actual DS to play my other games on, but this is strictly Guitar Hero now. Like, I strictly use this just to play Guitar Hero now. When it comes to Game Boy stuff... I got my I got my Game Boy SP, so that deals with that now. Um, after that, I upgraded to the uh, to the uh, this is the special Mario 25th Anniversary Edition DSi XL, the DS before the 3DS, so. This is my uh, 3DS XL, you know, with the bigger screens and such. I mean, I, I don't use this anymore. I don't use this one anymore either because, uh, because the, uh, I have my 3DS, which has everything, which I transferred everything off of this and put it on that. So, I don't even know why I have this one either, because I don't know why I have this one either be anymore, because I don't really need it anymore, because everything's on my 3DS now. But, um... And then obviously, you know what's next. The 3DS, the last DS to ever be made before the Nintendo Switch, wiped out the DS community. So, uh... That's what the inside looks like. Yeah, I don't play my DS anymore. I don't play Nintendo DS that much anymore because, um... <clears throat> I, I just don't know why. I mean, maybe if I found more games where that interested me, maybe I would play it more, but I don't. I don't know why. But I have them now just to have them. So, this is... So, out of my two DS... Out of all the DSs I own, this one is just for Guitar Hero playing, and this one is for everything else, pretty much, at this point. And then Game Boy stuff, everything is on the... Everything Game Boy gets played on the actual Game Boy. Because um, the actual Game Boy can play Game Boy Advance and Color, so... It's a win-win all around. Um, <clears throat> and then, speaking of Nintendo DS... The games, obviously. Um, so, I got all these games for, uh, so in this case that I bought, um, are all my DS games, 3DS and normal. So, up here is my three, all the 3DS games I have so far, like Adventure Time, Luigi's Mansion. Super Smash Brothers and Dota All Stars for the 3DS, which are all pretty good games. Um, on this side, it's nothing but my regular DS stuff. All the Guitar Hero games are up here in order on this first row, and then everything falls below it. Um, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots for the, 3D, for the DS sucks. Don't play it. Just get the console version over this because. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Um, Sonic Rush, I don't remember liking that much. I should play it again, but I don't remember liking it that much. Um, 
Mario Kart DS, you can't go wrong with Mario Kart. Um, Sonic, Sonic uh, Classic Collection, which at the time was a fantastic thing to have, but nowadays, you know, that's just another thing just to have. You don't really need anything like that nowadays. Um, because, uh, if words can get to me. Because the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch, uh, covers all bases. Like, you don't really need that anymore, technically, nowadays. Um, <coughs> and then the last of my DS games is on the other side. Sonic, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. I don't think I ever played the console version of that game, but this version of the DS is actually really good anyway. So, I mean, get the console version, obviously, but the DS version is not that bad either. Um, Mouse Look 7, because I like Mouse Look, and, and I had all the other games, so... Of course, I need to have the 7th game. And then, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Can't go wrong with Wheel of Fortune. There's literally a Wheel of Fortune game for every single console out there. There's, if it is this, there's Wheel of Fortune for it. <laughs> That's literally the case these days. Um, and then, after that, you got all the boxes for, uh, for those games, for the 3DS and normal DS Vs. I'm not gonna, if I show you the inside, it's just gonna be the same thing. And it's just, it's just the same thing over and over, it's just with their, uh, um, it's with their manual, and then a spot to put a Game Boy Advance game in the actual in the actual game thing. But, um, Sonic and Sega All Search Racing. I already tell you about all these games and all that stuff, so I'm just gonna show you the boxes real quickly. Here's the front, there's the back. Next, use the Tactical Toy Bots for Nintendo DS, you know, the crappy, the crappy version. Here's the front, there's the back. Wheel of Fortune, here's the front, there's the back, Mario Kart DS, front, back, Sonic Rush, front, back, And Mouse Look 7, there's the front, and there's the back. For some for some reason, it's called Mouse Look 7 on the DS, but like on everything else, it's called Mouse Look Double X. I don't get it. Double X is 20 in Roman numerals. There's not 20 games, there's actually 7. So. It's weird. This version, it's really odd. I don't get it. And then, uh... These are all the boxes for the 3DS games I actually, that I actually, like, I, I don't know where the All-Stars box went. I don't have it. I don't know. But, um, these are all the boxes that I still have from the games I have. Um, and the inside looks the same for all of them, too, so here it is. So, uh. Here's the Adventure Time, the front, the back, Luigi's Mansion, front, the back, which by the way, I haven't played the third one yet because I still haven't beat this one, so. And then uh, Super Smash Brothers, the front, the back, and I have an, uh, I have an, um, played the Switch version of Super Smash Brothers yet either, but. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you in this vlog, is the, uh, guitar grip, the guitar grip on its own. This is the version that came with Banjiro. So it has a special Banjiro 
design on the inside of the plastic, so. The Banjero themed guitar grip. It still says Guitar Hero on the on the strap. But um you know it's basically the cover. There it is. And then the drum grip that came with it. You know, just you just pretty much use your thumbs and you go like that. And your thumb, your thumbs are the sticks, pretty much. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to show you. All of that, which is crazy. Um. So. Uh, Next, next uh, for vlog number six. I don't know. If I, I think I, I don't think I showed you the, the juice box stuff, but we're talking about the juice box in episode no, in vlog number six when we get there. But um, for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be back next week, obviously for vlog number six. It's gonna be pretty cool. So, see you guys next time. Have a good one.